Huge Halo news, guys. Probably the biggest Halo news we have had in the last year. Frank O'Connor has left 343 Industries, which means the big three that a lot of people wanted removed from 343 Industries are now gone. Frank O'Connor, Bonnie Ross, and Kiki Wolfkill have all been moved to other positions or just outright left Microsoft completely. A huge portion of the Halo community wanted a complete restructure, and it definitely seems like there's big changes on the way. As of right now, Pierre Hintz is the new studio head. He helped work on the Master Chief Collection to improve and get it where it needs to be. As a little side note, I've heard Halo Infinite is going to receive the same treatment to get it to the same level of polish that the Master Chief Collection has. A lot of people did not like Frank O'Connor, not only for his overall direction of the Halo story, the biggest difference was about the Forerunners. The majority of the Bungie staff believe they were human, and the original storyboard and alternate ending to Halo 2 more or less confirmed that the Forerunners were indeed human, and then with 343's Halo 4, they made them a separate species. I'm pretty sure Late Night Gaming did a fantastic video on this, talking about the big shift between Halo Reach and Halo 4, with a lot of lore, whereas Bungie kind of played it fast and loose and left things very unknown and up to interpretation. Two different studios and two very different ways to tell a story. I'm just going to add in very quickly that the Master Chief we have now is a great balance between the Bungie games and 343 Industries. He still has that ultra badass side, but he also has that extra sense of humanity that 343 introduced. Now the main line, among many others, that made people really dislike Frank O'Connor was the following. I'm not sure I can even read it without getting demonetized, but I just won't say the first word. Frank O'Connor was asked how he and his team evaluate tens of thousands of proposals from a whole bunch of companies asking to do work with the Halo product. The potential partners range from promotional opportunities to novels to screenplays. The question was, with so many people clamoring for a piece of the Master Chief, how do they decide what new ideas are okay, but also protect the Halo IP? And his reply was, and I quote, it's kind of like blank. You know it when you see it. And personally, how can you answer a question like that as a professional, for a lot of people, this was the final straw for them. They were very upset when they read this. Even if you go back and check out the Halo 5 rec videos and the promotional content with Mr. Chief, people have felt there's been numerous decisions since 343 began that he is to blame for, and they are very happy that he's now left. Now, I would not be doing my due diligence and research without including this review of 343 from January 2023. I asked around and said, can anyone post a review on this website? What is the likelihood that a disgruntled fan or ex-employee just did a scathing reply? Because as we know, many 343 employees who were let go came forward and actually spoke about the terrible toxic workplace that they were working in the last couple years. However, I know for a fact that this year there's been numerous times for employees to clear the air and vent about their frustrations about the studio and where the game is heading. So I hope for Halo's sake and for them as a company, with the big three gone, the things start to head in the right direction and we can look forward to some great Halo games in the future. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on Frank O'Connor leaving 343 Industries. Are you happy that 343 has been restructured at the highest level? I look forward to hearing what you have to say. For me personally, I just want to see Halo succeed. I told you guys that before. I love the game. I love the series. I grew up with it. And I want to see it go from strength to strength. So I hope 343 and the supporting studios like Certain Affinity all come out with some kick-ass products. I hope 343 shares some more on what's happening with the state of the series and the game very soon. Because it's been pretty radio silent for the last couple months. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.